We've all heard stories of just evil people who hoard money and build barns just to store up their resources. But what really separates us from those people? Today I would like to dive into what is greed. The first thing that we're going to discuss is where does it come from? Because if we know what the source is, then we're going to be better equipped to know how to prudentially avoid that thing. The second thing we're going to be addressing is what does it actually look like in action? And the third thing will be how do we actually avoid it? So getting to the root of what the problem is, where does greed come from? So I believe that as humans, we have three inherent desires. We have a desire to be known, we have a desire to be seen, and we have a desire to be loved. And in parallel to these desires, we also have the desire to love, to see, and to know. So even in its most basic form, a lot of us have a desire to provide for another person or to be provided for ourselves. What greed is in a very simple sense, it's a desire to provide or to be provided for with the absence or the removal of charity. And so it's taking a good thing and just removing genuine love from the equation. Let's look at that in example. How do we actually see that in our daily life? So I would say that greed, rather than an action that you choose to do, it's actually a lack of an action. When there's an opportunity to love or to give, to do something greater than ourselves, and we choose to not do that. It's more of a lack of charity rather than a decision to be greedy. And so what we don't understand is that we actually experience greed in a much, much different way than we think of it because Yes, there are a lot of wealthy people in our world who are just driven by greed. But in a very, very boiled down sense, when you're driving around the street and you see a homeless person and you've got a $20 bill in your pocket, or you've got the opportunity to buy him food or the resources to take him to the grocery store or you know get him a toothbrush or whatever it is, when you have an opportunity to be charitable, and you choose to keep driving or keep walking, just look the other way. It is in those actions that we are being greedy, not in the actions of putting money in savings. When we build up these things, just as we're going to do, as we put money in savings, when there is an opportunity to give to somebody and we do not give from this abundance that we have, that is wrong. And so just in its most simple sense, Greed is an opportunity to love neglected. How can we avoid being greedy moving forward even if we don't have a lot of money? I see a homeless person with a sign. Your first thought might be, oh, you know, I wonder how much money he's actually made today from all these people. But your primary thought should be, this man is in need of something. And we know in scripture, give to every man that begs of you. And that's pretty convicting. It's not give to most men. It's give to every man who begs of you. If he asks for your cloak, give him your tunic as well. There is such a great opportunity to give. So my rule is if I have cash in my wallet and I see somebody begging, then that is not my cash in my wallet. That is that is their cash in my wallet that God has designated to be theirs. Because when it comes down to it, all of our resources, financial or even emotional resources, our ability to love people, are just given to us by God and we have been made a steward of these things. The way that we can avoid greed in our daily life is to be less concerned with people of a higher social status than us and to be more concerned with our actual ability to give the resources that we have been given, however little or small. Just like the woman who gave her last coin, giving out of your poverty versus only trying to give out of your abundance is inherently righteous. I hope you found this video informative. I'd like you to realize that there is a great opportunity for you to be incredibly charitable to me and leave me a like or subscribe to me because you know God says give to every man who begs of you and I'm I'm on my knees please subscribe it would mean the world to me I'm mostly not serious mostly